so today's video is going to be some of my empties. I, for whatever reason, find it very, very difficult to use up all my products. I don't know what it is, but I have been collecting these products for about two, maybe even three months. So these are the products that I've used up in the last quarter, if you will. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, if you subscribe to my video videos, um, you know that I did a video on Battle of the Makeup Wipes. Basically, I went to the store and purchased a whole bunch of makeup wipes and tried them out. My favorite um, was the Pond's um, Makeup Wipes. This is an Evening Soothe. They do have other smells, if you will. This is the Lavender Chamomile. Oh, no. It's not lavender. It's the Chamomile and White Tea. This is by far the best makeup wipe, drugstore makeup wipe, that I've tried. I tried a lot of them. Um, some of the other ones, I'll show you my empties ones that I've used up. This still is by far my favorite one. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm currently using, this is the Equate one. I use this to like clean my makeup brushes off after I use them like on a daily basis. But as far as washing my face at night, this is what I use. It is, it's a textured wipe. It does a really good job of getting your makeup off. It smells good. It doesn't burn. It's just by far my favorite makeup wipe. So that I used up. The next two that I used up was the, um, these are... My gosh, it doesn't say what, what their name is. I think they're Clarisol. Hello? I thought that they were Clarisol. I have no idea what the name of the, like, what the brand is. This is Morning Blast. This is Night Calm Vanilla Cleansing Wipes. I thought they were, like, Clar Clarisol or Clarisol or something. I don't know. If I find it, I will put them in the bottom, but I believe I got these. I want to say I got them at Walmart, but I thought it was cool because this one's the Morning Burst Blast one, and it has grapefruit oil, and it's kind of like citrusy, kind of wake you up. And this is the Night Calm one. This is with vanilla extract, kind of a soothing, calming night one. I didn't really like them. I used them up, obviously, because I had them, but they were not my favorite um, makeup wipes by far. They were okay, but definitely wouldn't purchase them again. I wouldn't recommend them. Just They smell really good, but as far as getting the makeup off, they just didn't do a really good job at it. Next thing is, I got this, I believe, in one of my birch boxes. It's Beauty Protector, Protect and Shampoo, and Protect and Condition. These are daily shampoo and conditioners. They are sulfate-free, paraben-free, vegan for all hair types, moisture reviving, enhances volume, add shine, seals cuticles, UV protection, soothes hair, color safe, and use daily. They, um, I went ahead and, uh, I, when I got the birch box, I was doing the no poo, so I was like, eh, I'm never going to use them, but I kept them anyways because they smell amazing. It's like, I wish that I could find a body, like a um, perfume or like a body spray that smelled like this because it smells like heaven. Like it is the most, I don't know, they just smell so good. Like this, this is the smell that I want to smell like every single day of my life. Oh, they just smell so good. I don't even know, I can't even, I don't, I, I can't even tell you what it smells like. It just smells so good. But I like these because they are sulfate free, they're paraben free, they have all these free, 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 free stuff. Um, they did a really good job of volumizing. After I did my no poo, I actually used these and I would recommend them. Um, the only problem is, I will say, they did make my hair, coming off in the no poo, I was going like three, four, you know, sometimes if I was lucky five days without washing my hair. I pretty much, while using these, I had to wash my hair every day just because of the greasiness or whatever. Um, but if I were to purchase shampoo and conditioner again, I would definitely purchase these. They, you know, with the UV protection and it adds shine, enhances volume, they did a really, really good job. So if you do use shampoo and conditioner, I would recommend these. These are the uh, beauty protector. But awesome, awesome, awesome. Next thing is the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. It looks like this. It looks so disgusting. Like, I have a little bit left, but it's, I've had it for so long, it's time to get rid of it. But this is in the light medium N4 and 5. It's just, it's a little bit darker than like my hand skin tone, but what I used it for was like pimples, like any redness or whatever around like my nose or whatever. It did a really good job of covering up pimples. It was good. Probably wouldn't purchase it again, but I do like the crayon aspect because it does have a little thicker consistency. I wouldn't recommend for putting it under the eyes when I did that. Um, number one, it was a little bit too dark for my under eyes area, 
but also it does tend to crease because it is super, super thick. But as far as pimples, I think it did a pretty good job with pimples. Um, the next thing is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is in the Eraser Dark Circle. It has a little sponge applicator at the top and you just squeeze it. I really, really like this product. I don't think that it did a really good job of covering up my dark eye circles, but what I used it for was kind of like an enhancement. I would use my Benefit Erase, um, erase Paste or whatever um, to kind of cover them up, and then I would do this in kind of a V to highlight the area. I think it's a really, really good one for highlight. I think they do make another one that's not the Dark Circle Erasers. It's like, I think it's the anti-aging or something like that, but I really, really like it. At first, I was a little skeptical of the sponge, but you put a perfect amount on, and see so you can, there's just a little bit left in it. But what I like about it was it kind of does the work for you where you don't have to have a brush. Like this is the built-in applica applicator. And all I would do is put it in like that and then kind of go around the edges. I wouldn't even kind of blend this part because it blends so well. But would highly recommend this. I know, um, I think Makeup by Tiffany D, I believe this is the reason why I had purchased it because Makeup by Tiffany D had, or Tiffany D or whatever. I'd recommended it, so I really, really like that. Definitely will be purchasing that again. Next thing, I guess, kind of going under eye creams or whatever, is I finally used up my Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream. I did a review on this. I really, really like it. As you can see, it's all gone. Um, I love the packaging. It's glass. I'm going to be keeping it to do something with. I'm not sure exactly what yet, but I just feel bad throwing it away. But it's a brightening eye cream. It's supposed to fade dark circles. In my review, if you watched it, you know that I don't think it does a really good job of fading dark circles. But what it does do is it kind of um, gets rid of the bags. It helps to deflate the bags, if you will. Um, and even the lady at Ulta, when I went to go purchase it, said that she had seen an improvement in her bags, not so much in the dark circles. But I would recommend this if you do have um, very subtle or not that much dark circles, but you do battle with bags, I think it's a great product. It's not a drugstore. I've tried all the drugstore dark eye circles and anti-bag things or whatever. I've never had any of them work. This is the only product that I've used that has um, made them work or has made them decrease, but it is the cheapest, one of the cheapest eye creams that you can get that is more of a high-end one. The other ones are like 60, 70 bucks. I believe this is 20, maybe even 30, which is crazy for an eye cream, but it's actually one of the cheaper ones. So I would recommend this product. Next thing is the Josie Maron 100% Aragon or Ar Aragon, Aragon Oil, Aragon, Aragon. Isn't that from Lord of the Rings? Aragon, um, Aragorn, Aragorn. I think it is. Um, anyways. Jose, Josie Maron 100% Argon Oil. I love this. I This was a recommendation by um, Jacqueline Hill. She loved the Josie Maron collection. I went out and got the 100%. Used it all up. Love it, love it, love it. Absolutely my favorite. It comes in this little eyedropper thing. And I was a little skeptical at first when I picked it up because I do have oily skin. Now, I don't tend to break out that much. I break out for what I found out with silicone but it's more of like hormonal breaking out. I don't have like breakouts all through the month. It's usually just around my period. But I was worried about this one because it is an oil and I was worried that it was going to make me more oily. It doesn't. It sinks in super, super fast. It sinks in enough. I would say it probably takes about 10 minutes, but what I normally do is I put my face, um, you know, like my lotions on in the morning and then I do my hair. And by the time my hair is done, I, everything, my lotions have sunk in. This you can actually wear under your makeup. I normally don't. I wear like a tinted moisturizer, not a tinted moisturizer, like the shape, you know, like a tanning mo moisturizer to kind of like gradually increase your tan. But you can wear this in the morning if you allow it to sink in long enough. Like I said, it takes about 10 minutes, but I love it, love it, love it at night. It also, you can use it for a whole bunch of stuff. I use it on the ends of my hair, on the days that I'm going to wash it, like on the night before I'm going to wash it, I just put some drops in my hair and kind of let it go overnight and then I wash it out the next morning. Love it for that. Um, it says daily moisturizer to treat split ends to condition cuticles as a body moisturizer to soothe rough patches on the skin and elbows, knees and feet and as a bath oil. So there's a slew of different things. Obviously it's one of those 
you know, nuts or whatever that is supposed to be anti-aging and have all these benefits. Now I do, I am currently, so I love this one, would definitely recommend it, am going to pick some up. I'm actually going to be doing a comparison between the regular Josie Marin 100% Argan Oil and the light version. And then also I'm going out today to pick out the, the Radiance one. So I will do a review on all three of those, kind of a um, stay tuned video, but definitely would recommend this. I'm actually going to pick some more up. Next thing is mascaras. I go through mascaras. I, for whatever reason, I'm like on a mission to try to find the best mascara. And I think I actually found it, but it's not in this one because I'm still currently using it. But anyways, um, let's start with the Avon. I don't even know what it's called, but if you look in their book, this is the only mascara that they have that looks like this. You kind of wiggle it out like this, and it comes out like this. Um, the concept is you're supposed to just kind of go like this on your eyelashes and it's supposed to be easier. I do really, really like it. What I um, ended up purchasing with it was um, I feel this one does more of a volumizing. So I would do like a lengthening mascara and then I would come in behind and kind of use this to volumize. And it did a really, really good um, job. The only problem with it is, number one, I found it very, very difficult to do my bottom lashes without like getting it on the, the bottom half. I'm sure it's just the more that you use it, the more comfortable you'll get with the wand, but it is a little weird at first. Um, secondly, it is a little bit difficult. I mean, you have to sit there and wiggle it out. If you try to force it out like this, you will get splattered with mascara. So that's the one thing. Another thing. Third thing I don't like about it is the fact that you have to go through an Avon rep to get it. Um, I did have an Avon rep at my other job, and now that I've moved jobs, I don't necessarily see her as much. And so it's one of those things that I have to purchase online, and you can get it delivered to your house, and it's just it's just another step. So that's the only bad thing about using Avon products. I really do like them, but you have to have a rep. So if you don't have a rep, you have to find one, and a lot of times they want to sell you all this stuff and blah, 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 blah. Mine's not like that, but I know that there are a lot out there that are like that. So um, I would recommend this one just if you're looking for a volumizing one. You will have to use it in a combination with a lengthening because it's not going to be your all your go-to mascara. It does need a little bit of work. Next one is the Maybelline The Falsies Mascara. Now, I, bought, I purchased this one because it looked intriguing to me. Number one, it has an upper lashes wand and then on the bottom it has a lower lashes wand so I'm like oh this the concept is great and I really really like the concept the problem is the formula isn't as great as I would like it the upper wand lash formula I don't know if it when I purchased it, it was just old which kind of pisses me off but um, it was very very drying I ended up not even being able to use the upper wand because it was the formula just was too dry. It actually, it didn't coat, coat my um, my lashes. It ended up clumping. I didn't like it. I do like the lower wand um, portion of it. It's a lot easier to get in um, and get the little hairs. So I like the concept and the formula on, for whatever reason, I'm sure it's the same formula, but for whatever reason, the upper lashes just dried out sooner. But the bottom lashes is okay. Now, if you want to spend $7 just to get the little wand for the bottom lashes, by all means, go ahead. But for the most part, I wouldn't recommend this just because it just, I wasn't happy with it. I, I wasn't pleased with it. I will never purchase it again. Love the concept. The formula sucks. Um, last but not least is a mascara that I got out of my birch box or Epsi, one of the months. But it's the It's So Big Volumizing Mascara by Elizabeth Mott. And it's just a little sample size or whatever, so I, you know, used it up. You can see that it still has some product on the end, but it's kind of like getting clumpy and dried out. Before it got clumpy and dried out and used up, um, I did really, really like this. This was my go-to mascara I wore every single day. Um, and I'm sure I could, what is it, I think it's like Visine that you can take and you can put it in there or whatever and make it um, not you know, clump up and last longer, but I actually found mascara that I like better. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Love it, love it, love it. So I've been using that like crazy. But anyways, this one, it's so big. I do like this one. I honestly have no idea where it's sold. I've never seen it at Ulta. I don't think I recall seeing it at Sephora. So it might be something that you can only get through Birchbox or Etsy or another website or whatever. So that's the only downside. 
Another thing, and this happened even before it started getting dry and old and stuff like that. When you pull it out, it's got danglies. Now this has happened before on some of the other mascaras, but I'm sure this mascara isn't cheap. I'm sure it's over 10 bucks. It's probably 20 bucks. I'm guessing. I don't know. But can you not fix that? If I'm going to buy a mascara that's that expensive, I do not want it to have danglies. Because then it, you go like this, and then this whole part gets yucky and disgusting, and then it, 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 it it's just maddening. Maddening. Other than that, other than the slight defect in the wand as far as the little da dangling thing, um... I did like the formula. It's not as better. It's not as good as the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but it's super, super close. And I was able to use it um, alone. I didn't have to use a lengthening one, and I didn't have to use a volumizing one. It did a pretty good job on both of them. So I'd recommend this one. Don't know where it's sold at, and don't know how much it is. So yeah. Anyways, that's it. That's my empties for this quarter. Hopefully you ladies enjoyed it. Let me know if you have used any of these products um, and what you think about it. But until next time, bye.